Hi guys, um, how are you guys doing? I, I just wanted to make a little video here and it is, um, I had the virus and my daughter did too. Um, I wrote an article about it if you want to read it and I wanted to match up with that uh, a tips because I learned a lot about going through the experience and it was not anything I thought it would be no matter how much I had known about it and how careful I was I was incredibly careful um, myself and it took literally one person that um, you know we mingled with and that was it and then we were off to the races with it um, it was quite a difficult uh, experience um, it was nothing like flu or bad cold as everybody said it had a totally uh, a number of very alien and strange experiences came with it with a lot a lot a lot of anxiety so based on that I um, had to tap in and use a lot of my yogic and health and wellness um, practices and there was some very specific things I did that really and truly did help me so um, following will be a few clips on that hi so one thing is I would urge anybody to do is to learn to deep breathe correct breathing complete breath I call it to complete your breath so a lot of us breathe very short we kind of grab our breath and we hold it at the wrong times and let it create tension but um, to learn to be a complete breather so very simply what you could do is put your hands on your ribs and just breathe into where your hands are that means you need to push out these ribs down low in the diaphragm the lungs and pause and then breathe out and then pause and breathe in pause and breathe out pause and breathe in pause and breathe out get the gist so try to do that and to really hold and feel the expansion so it's like a workout for your uh, muscles and for your lungs and your diaphragm and expanding the tissue and all the ligaments that need to be expanded so it's about to keep the saturation high of the breath so this is one of the things that happens is the saturation of your oxygen will drop doesn't matter it's now nothing to do with how healthy you are but it is helpful to be skillful with the breath okay so that's one thing it's hydration absolute hydration think every cough you want to every time you cough and I had a lot a lot of coughed non-stop for about 24 hours you lose a lot of water so this will help the hydration is huge it really took my cough down to hydrate each cough think about each cough you lose water you lose clears energy simple little healing bowl if you have such a thing just something that brings some soothing energy to you hi guys so this is where I spent most of my time in my boudoir so a few tips definitely get a pulse oximeter it just goes onto your hand you press it and see the numbers you just measure you can wake up in the morning you can measure your oxygen levels this has truly saved me so if they drop down the saturation drops down I think below 90 it is not good so I would sit up and do my breathing practice that I showed you there it also takes your pulse your pulse and your oxygen level a really good gadget you are not being over the top by having this totally saved me 
I find ibuprofen because a lot of it's inflammation in your body. The paracetamols and that did not help me with the pain. And you get a lot of extraordinary aches and pains, but the ibuprofen, there's a difference. So I didn't really know this stuff until all of this hit me. It takes the inflammation down, which therefore stops the pain, which is your immune response. Mine was incredible pain in my legs and in my feet. Uh, this, the oral Ds, so that goes straight into your bloodstream. The vitamin D at bolster or make a bolster, make it sturdy. This really, really helps me. I would lie in my bed just like this. Okay, and I'll just under, get sideways so I can show you. Under your lungs. So you see this, this is what you want. This open spaciousness. Just lay back and put a little pillow under your head. You want that. Hey guys, um, just again, continuing on with some of my tips. This is some stuff that I did while I was flattened in my bed and able, not really able to move. I found twisting really helped the aches because I got a lot of aches up my spine, in my feet, in my limbs. And I found just twisting my body just on my bed and just if you just lay on your bed just bring your knee in and just create a bit of a twist and you can also extend out the leg which is quite nice to do and maybe you can lift the leg up a bit and then switch that out bring your knees in in the middle and then the other side and it's just kind of gentle and then again you can extend out the leg i found that gave me huge release good and then center Few times just like you're rolling through these twists they really did help me just side to side gentle side to side so you feel like the upper body's twisting in a different direction to the lower body it's like you're ringing out I really felt I was ringing out the aches and creating some good stimulation through my spine through the spinal fluid, through the joints, because there's a lot of aches in the joints, so it's kind of lubricating my joints, you could say, with that kind of movement. Another thing I did was just simply lying there and just stretching out my leg, but just relaxing the rest of my body and just stretching. That really gave me good relief, just stretching just to your degree. I mean, you could just do it with a bent knee. Just stretching good and then switching it out to the other side stretch out the other leg and just draw the leg in I got huge relief from this and then just stretching it out okay knee in so knee in and then just knee rolling knee hugging Okay, so the last little bit is just maybe sitting up, just to get a change from just lying flat on your back to sitting up and just do a little twist, holding onto your knee. And when we do this twist, lift your chest and drop your shoulders. Think of it this way, shoulders up causes tension, makes you feel anxious, so shoulders down. Good. and the other way, shoulders down, exhale, breathe as best you can, good, and just simply sitting with yourself, hands in prayer like this is nice, makes you feel kind of balanced when you bring the right hand to the left hand, this simple gesture can really give a sense of balance in your body and just close your eyes just be quiet inside in yourself you know you just do it for 30 seconds at a time if you don't feel up too much else take a break do what you need to do and then come and sit intermittently just sit in a sense of quiet a lot of healing 
in that sitting still, balanced and quiet, generate the healing energy. So be well, sending you huge healing hugs and wellness flowing to you.